Uh, welcome to your gold market update charts of the day for today tuesday the 7th of march could be an interesting day on markets today mike smith senior analyst at go markets to lead you around what's happening u.s markets give up early gains to close near neutral as markets brace for a big day to week and more fed action and of course locally we've got the rba decision this afternoon u.s futures are trading near neutral in asia so far and asian indices are following that cautious lead ASX is down around 0.2%, materials underperforming right now. European equity futures are also pointing to a lower open, and the VIX is trading still around that key 20 level. In the FX world, the US dollar index is in short term range, just around that 200 EMA. Gold retraced a little bit from that 1850 level it hit yesterday, but it's still looking pretty good. It is neutral in Asia so far today. Copper ended up near neutral yesterday after a test of $4. Quite a wicked move down to test that support level before bouncing back up a little bit. Oil is also up slightly again and sitting near the top of the range. It'll be interesting to see if we get a breach of that over the next day or so. We do have the EIA data out tomorrow. And of course, the Fed may impact on that also. Bitcoin had a major drop last week. Uh, 22,000 looks like an important level. Pretty neutral in today's session so far. Earnings season continues on the ASX. We've got Australian and Chinese trade balance numbers out. Obviously, the RBA decision this afternoon. German factory orders. And later on, probably the headline act is the Fed Chairman Jerome Powell in front of Congress this evening. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. We are seeing some consolidation of A2 milk, ticker code A2M, just around this 675 level. But up today slightly and if we see there we'll trend towards the top of the candle could be a move pushing up towards seven dollars in the short term and then that's a really critical level going forward so one to keep an eye on during the course of the day for those of you who trade short term there may be a slight opportunity there for those who trade long term maybe a delay in a little bit to see if we breach seven dollars with any vigor Obviously, the Australian dollar is going to be in focus for much of the day, but it's also worth keeping an eye on the GB pound yen, which has been in a really quite a tight range for this particular pair over the last few trading days. You can see there that top at around about 163.83, the bottom, which was tested yesterday prior to US market open at around about 163. So we look as though we're moving very nicely up towards that 163.83. If we get a breach of this, then there is potential significant upside. The fact that this has been in a sideways trend for the last three trading sessions suggests that if it is breached, then it will precipitate some significant buying pressure. So 164.41 would be a reasonable price target, which is about 60 pips up from where we are now on the short term chart. On a longer term chart, perhaps even a breach of that 164.40 could see a significant move to the upside. One worth watching. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.